Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. Unless you've been living under the rock, you probably have heard uh, that yesterday we got an early access to Unreal Engine 5. And uh, the topic we're gonna talk about today is uh, how to make the Lumen their new uh, real-time global illumination and the reflection system work uh, for the high quality interior dynamic uh, scene. Before we go into Unreal Engine, let's take a look uh, for the result that I managed to get uh, with this new Unreal Engine 5 Global Illumination. So uh, let's go into the uh, Unreal Engine 5. So as you can see, uh, uh, we have only one uh, directional light and these uh, uh, LED lights that we can uh, turn off uh, for now. So we only work uh, with the directional light. So uh, when you go into the Unreal Engine 5, uh, I'll go just briefly through some uh, basics if you haven't uh, touch it yet so uh, inside of the project settings uh, if you uh, type lumen you will have uh, enabled dynamic global illumination method uh, this is the new stuff and uh, also in reflection uh, method you will uh, see a lumen so we just uh, put it down for the a moment and uh, let's see what is going on so nothing special as you can see at this point so we have uh, something similar to ray tracing that we had uh, before but if you go to directional light and uh, uh, go down and see indirect uh, lighting intensity that we can crank up to a uh, number something like 100 and in that uh, point you can see uh, something really nice is uh, happening it's uh, real-time global illumination so uh, if we rotate the Sun a little bit you can see it's updating in the real time so uh, when I first fired it up yesterday it was like yeah that's cool but look at this uh, ugly reflections uh, and all the stuff so I guess uh, there is something inside cross process volume that we can uh, crank up so we can have a higher quality uh, reflection. So if we go global illumination, we can override this uh, uh, the same stuff from the plugins, uh, the project settings. So uh, we can go to screen space but uh, let's stick with the lumen for now and there is uh, this final gather quality and if we crank up that to for example 8 or uh, something even higher like 33 32 uh, we don't have any uh, change so I was like okay and that's uh, looking nice but uh, still these reflections are not usable for anything so we'll go back into the project settings and uh, we have this uh, use hardware ray tracing when available so let's go ahead and uh, position our camera right here and click this uh, magic button so as you can see these reflections uh, they're really good but uh, it's not for the high-end visualization so when we uh, check this uh, use hardware ray tracing you can see we got much much better result and uh, at this point this is uh, really usable this is uh, like production almost production ready uh, at this point and uh, note that this is a fully dynamic scene so if you take this chair for example we can move it around and uh, 
you can see how beautiful the shadows are and the reflections and everything so uh, know that this could be a really uh, consuming for your uh, GPU as I have 3080 uh, but also I have a high resolution uh, display so you can make this uh, smaller uh, and you will get some FPS uh, in the preview uh, until we wait until the uh, NVIDIA release the DLSS for the Unreal Engine 5. Uh, so a few more stuff I have found out uh, as you can see in this area we have like some kind of flickering uh, that is uh, uh, not looking really good and uh, as we don't have anything uh, around here to change it we need to go to uh, console command and uh, we will just uh, put screen space reconstruction kernel radius uh, if we put a question mark here we will see that at this point it have a value of uh, 8 so this is too low and uh, watch if we change to 64 watch this part uh, around it uh, does not flicker anymore so uh, this is really really you can see uh, how how good uh, these reflections uh, really looks so uh, we can go now back and uh, put on our top lights and go to the gaming mode uh, and you can see I'm doing like 30 frame per second so it's not bad uh, it's pretty nice with all this uh, stuff turned on so uh, we have a fully dynamic uh, GI that is uh, looking really really nice uh, there is uh, so much more uh, commands here but that will be a topic of the next video let me know in the comments down below uh, would you like to see more of these videos to help you out with this with your interior uh, project inside Unreal and uh, we can find out what else can we do to make this uh, interior even better. Thank you for your time and uh, goodbye.